In the land of the morning calm, driving is anything but calm. Driving in Korea comes with lots of safety hazards, and it's on every driver to learn the unique customs of the road and pay close attention to mitigate the risks and arrive at your destination safely. At first glance, you can see that there are many vehicles with less than adequate roads to handle the traffic in an orderly manner. This situation may influence why many drivers, both commercial and private, weave in and out of traffic. Buses are required to use the far right lanes, but often wander into the other lanes. In places like the United States where people have been driving for many years, drivers have developed safe habits when driving around other vehicles and pedestrians. In Korea, the use of motor vehicles became widespread rapidly without the slow development of these habits and skills that are commonplace in the United States and other developed countries. On most Korean roads, you can expect to find people. On expressways, extra caution is required around road construction sites as workers are prone to step into the path of traffic and drivers must be prepared to stop immediately. Workers may also be watched for when going through tunnels and toll gates. Traditionally, pedestrians in Korea believe they have as much right to use the roads as vehicles and therefore expect vehicles to yield to them and some roads do not have shoulders at all, forcing the pedestrian to walk in the road. This is commonly seen when a pedestrian holds a hand up as if to stop the oncoming traffic while crossing a street. It is always wise to reduce your speed around pedestrians, especially children. They may walk or run into the flow of traffic, leaving little time to react. Before starting any trip, you should perform preventive maintenance on your vehicle to ensure that you are ready for the trip you have planned, short or long. Maintenance should include checking the vehicle fuel and fluid levels, tire inflation including the spare, all lights are working, and required emergency items are located in the vehicle for travel on the roads and highways. Be sure to adjust mirrors to capture your blind spots and adjust your seat to the correct position for the operator. Using a cell phone while driving a motor vehicle is not only illegal, it is dangerous. The environment while you are driving is constantly changing, so it is important to stay alert and focused at all times. Texting takes a great deal of attention and increases the chance for accidents more than other factors. As a driver in Korea, always be aware of your surroundings and remember that distracted driving will get you seriously injured or even worse, killed. <laughs> Although much of Korea is using automobiles as transportation, there are still some that rely on less expensive means. You will see many bicycles, scooters, and motorcycles that are used for transporting goods and services. These vehicles are unpredictable and are commonly overloaded, unstable, and poorly trained in riding safely. Slow down and give these vehicles plenty of room as they are known to weave in and out of traffic, in front of passing vehicles, and often pass on the right. Giving room to other vehicles can be difficult, but providing the extra cushion around vehicles that are next to you can greatly help you avoid an accident. Intersections in Korea are very busy. Most traffic lights face multiple angles to guide traffic from many directions. This can cause each intersection to be congested and confusing. You may notice a battle between vehicles to get through the lights first. Some intersections may have a flashing yellow light, meaning you must slow down and proceed with caution. Others may have a flashing red light, meaning you must stop before proceeding. But the Korean culture is to most commonly drive through these without stopping. Please watch for other crossing drivers as they may not stop. You must pay close attention when approaching intersections for many reasons, one being that most do not allow left-hand turns unless marked. When you are not familiar with an intersection for a turn, pay close attention to the signs prior to arriving or you may find yourself going further into the intersection and not being able to complete your turn. Learning Korean left turn signs will help you know when they are legal. There are also special U-turn lanes that are clearly marked at intersections. If you find yourself turning around, use these lanes but with extreme caution. Oncoming motorists may not slow down for you. Many intersections have traffic signals that are clearly marked, but if you approach an intersection that is not marked, the right-of-way rule comes into effect. If you arrive at the same time as another motorist, whomever is to the right has the right-of-way. But please proceed with caution, as motorists have been known to run right through intersections without slowing down. When approaching toll gates, be cautious. Other vehicles may speed in and out of lanes going to and from the toll gates. Choose the correct lane and remain there until you are through the toll gate. After you take the ticket for the toll, place it in a readily accessible place for later when you pay the toll or submit the ticket with the official logbook number written on it when in a GOV. You may also notice a variety of cameras in use when you operate your vehicle in Korea. Some are just close circuit television or CCTV and used for monitoring traffic. Others are to catch speeding, parking, and bus lane violations. When you see a flash from these cameras, this may be an indicator of a violation and you could be receiving a citation with a picture of what you did in the mail. 
There will be instructions on how to pay for the citation, but most are paid at a local Korean bank with the citation number. In years past, there have not been many roundabouts. Korea is now implementing more roundabouts to steady the flow of traffic while reducing accidents. Pedestrians and vehicles already within the circle of a roundabout have the right of way, so incoming traffic must yield. Korea has all four seasons, which includes snow and ice during the winter and heavy rain during the summer. Monsoon season begins in June and ends in September. It's important to check the weather forecast each day and before trip planning. We have established road condition levels on the peninsula, and when there is severe weather, flooding, ice or snow, or heavy traffic due to Korean holidays, they will change. For more road condition information, contact your local safety office. Be sure to have safety equipment in the vehicle in case of an accident. Road triangles, first aid kit, spare tire and jack, maps or GPS travel apps, and any other needs specific to your trip. If an accident does occur, notify local authorities, military police on post, and your local safety office. All accidents or mishaps are reported, regardless of the type, civilian or military, or damage amount, so always have these emergency contact numbers available to you. Drinking and driving is risky and against the law. Remember, there are DUI checkpoints on and off post. Off post checkpoints are Korea wide and take place during all hours of the day and night. If you plan to have a few drinks, think ahead and have a plan, and use the buddy system or call a cab. As you can see, a combination of the unique customs and heavy traffic makes for high risk driving. It's important that you stay alert and stay focused so that you may stay safe. Over the past five years, the majority of the tactical accidents have occurred on a Korean roadway or highway and away from the unit's home station. The lead accident causes in Korea include failing to take appropriate precautions for adverse environmental conditions like rain, snow, or fog, failing to ensure adequate clearance or space for the operation being conducted, improper focus of attention, and misjudging clearance. Excessive speed is also a culprit. It's not just exceeding the speed limit, too often the case is poor risk assessment, driving too fast for the conditions. A speed limit sign means don't drive any faster under any circumstance. But if the road is slick, the weather is bad, the visibility is poor, and the conditions are right for black ice to form, slow down. Or if there are too many pedestrians on the road or too much traffic, slow down. Remember, it's not how fast you get there, but getting there that counts. Driver's training, testing, and licensing is a commander's program managed by the unit's master driver. Prior to operating a tactical vehicle, you must be trained and licensed on the piece of equipment by a qualified master driver. Contact your unit master driver to schedule training or check rides. Additionally, commanders at the company level and above must establish a remedial training program for drivers or operators who have had driver at-fault accidents or traffic violations, misused equipment, or demonstrated a need for additional training on military vehicles or equipment. Your local safety offices offer the course for soldiers and Army civilians. The Army requires tactical vehicles to be maintained in combat-ready condition at all times. Therefore, it is important to take preventive maintenance checks and services seriously. This inspection, commonly known as PMCS, is performed before, during, and after any type of movement. The purpose is to improve the overall effectiveness of the equipment while reducing the number of failures and injuries during movement. Utilizing the technical manual for the assigned tactical vehicle will ensure the PMCS is done correctly. All vehicles must be PMCSed and dispatched before leaving the motor pool. Remember, mission failure can be due to improper PMCS, which can inadvertently endanger soldiers' lives on the road and the battlefield. When planning vehicle movement during convoy operations, the convoy commander plays a vital role to its success. They coordinate and ensure safe vehicle movement by incorporating risk management into the planning and execution, selecting the appropriate route, identifying and communicating potential hazards, and ensuring specific details such as vehicle speeds, weather conditions, overhead power lines, bridges, communication, and warning signs are addressed. Army Korea regulations require you to complete the convoy commander's briefing and convoy commander's checklist. It's important to brief all vehicle commanders and crew members on the route, checkpoints, and rally points, conduct communication checks, have a map readily available, know the route, maintain situational awareness, and know what to do if the vehicle breaks down. In the event you are separated from the convoy, always follow the convoy commander's brief. Do not adjust your speed or take the risk of driving through a red light. Contact the convoy commander and let them know that you are separated, communicate the issue, and establish if you will link up at the next checkpoint or not. Over the years, there have been several convoy breaks where young or inexperienced drivers do not know how to react. Unfortunately, too often drivers choose the risky route and speed through traffic lights or intersections. 
This has caused several fatalities involving local nationals. Remember, convoy operations create hazardous situations because they block long areas of traffic, often causing drivers to become impatient. There have been several recent vehicle accidents where local national operators have been weaving in and out of convoys. Do your best to identify all possible hazards and have a plan you are prepared to execute in case something unexpected arises. When driving in the country areas, you may notice matting laid out on the road for farmers to dry their rice or peppers. Keep in mind, if you speed or do not maintain situational awareness, you may not have time to react. If you run over the produce, the U.S. Army will have to buy it and a lot more than what you ran over. It's also bad community relations if we don't show concern for the local community. We need to have a good relationship with our neighbors. As previously discussed, accident prevention in U.S. Forces Korea is essential to the readiness posture you must maintain to be prepared to fight tonight. A big part of that is safe operations on the road. Pay attention to driver's training because the roads here may be your biggest hazard. In some places, you may find that there is no dirt under the concrete roadway. Rain or environmental conditions have caused erosion, removed the dirt, giving a false impression to the driver the road is solid. There are many roads in Korea like this. The weight of the vehicle could be just enough to make the road give way and send it down the embankment. Proper knowledge and training of rollover drills can prepare you for situations such as these. Before leaving the motor pool, all equipment on and around the vehicle must be tied down and secured. Drivers, vehicle commanders, and crew members often forget to tie down radio antennas with the protective cap secured on the end. There are many low-hanging overhead wires on and off the installations, and especially in rural areas and small towns. Antennas that come into contact with wires like these can cause fatal electrocutions. The Korean driving environment will be a challenge unlike any other you have ever faced behind the wheel. You will be amazed and amused, bewildered, baffled, and possibly enraged by some of the Korean driving habits, but you will not be able to change them. To drive safely, you must adapt. Driving in Korea is already a challenge, but the winter conditions make it especially dangerous. Winters in Korea are very harsh, with ice, snow, and temperatures below freezing. If you are not accustomed to driving in these conditions, it can be very risky. Regardless if you are a newly licensed driver or an experienced 88 Mike, never become complacent when driving on snow, ice, or rain. Mistakes are often made due to personal factors, such as overconfidence, getting in a hurry, and fatigue. However, these factors can be mitigated by following procedures. As previously mentioned, utilizing the TM for the assigned vehicle will ensure the proper PMCS is done. This includes checking the antifreeze level, washer fluid level, condition of battery, installing new wipers, and all lights, especially headlights and taillights, are working properly for winter driving. Lastly, when starting the engine, do not accelerate the gas pedal. Allow the vehicle to idle on its own because gasoline is less likely to evaporate when cold. Under normal conditions, your car engine runs on a mixture of air and vaporized fuel. Of course, you should always wear a seatbelt and drive defensively regardless of the weather conditions. Before you operate the tactical vehicle you have PMCS'd, it is important to improve visibility. Snow and ice should be cleared from the vehicle's windows, mirrors, hood, roof, turn signals, taillights, and headlights. In freezing conditions, remain cognitive of black ice and slippery sections on the roadways. When driving on slick surface, keep two things in mind. Slow down and increase the distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. Always utilize the vehicle's TM for proper gear settings for climbing and descending hills on ice or snow. Carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless chemical that can cause nausea, dizziness, and drowsiness. It can be fatal and cause death if too much is inhaled. It's not uncommon for soldiers to sit in a running tactical vehicle after conducting a PMCS or during operation in the winter season. Carbon monoxide can be avoided by ensuring all tactical vehicles have no leaks in the heater or exhaust ducts. To help prevent carbon monoxide buildup in a tactical vehicle during operation, crack all windows and open the hatch. Additionally, never allow soldiers to sleep in vehicles with engines running or run the engine in an enclosed area. Black ice is a thin sheet of ice on a dark roadway that is hard to detect. When driving in the winter season, the driver and TC must stay alert and pay close attention to the road conditions. Black ice is formed when the road surface is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or when supercooled fog droplets accumulate on bridges and overpasses. If the mission must be conducted during these conditions, drivers should reduce speed, accelerate slowly, increase the following distance between vehicles, brake very lightly, and make all turns gradually and slowly. When checking tires, make sure the tire tread on the vehicle is 50% or greater. Most tactical vehicles have a mud, sand, or snow-recommended pressure or added traction in these conditions. 
always refer to the TM for the appropriate pressure for the vehicle. Tire chains are to be used on the vehicle when winter weather conditions require additional traction. Prepare for the winter season and have the correct items in supply. Also, make sure to carry appropriate straps for tightening the chains if they are loose. Depending upon the type of system, your vehicle may have a winterization kit that can be installed for operation in extreme cold. Refer to the vehicle's TM for information on the installation, operation, and maintenance of this additional equipment. Now that you are familiar with Korea's harsh conditions and potential hazards, make sure you adequately prepare for the winter season and continuously monitor the road conditions. Korea can be a fun, safe, and wonderful place to enjoy. As long as you stay alert and drive smart, you will arrive safe.